Monta Vista Valhalla IC. Monta Vista, go ahead. Uh, right over here, please. AMR Medic 999 to Scripps Mercy Hospital. Monta Vista, 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 Monta uh, I don't know where, but it was a hiking Make sure you let Mercy know. Okay. You're coming from a hiking trail? Where were you going? Uh, to the trail. That's where we were. We left here and went there. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, was there anything wrong with your car at all? No. There's the nothing wrong with your car? Mechanically, it's fine? Perfectly fine. Perfect. 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 Oh, okay. Uh, have you, uh, how much sleep did you get last night? Not much. Five, five, five six hours. Five or six hours of sleep? Yeah. Are you seeing a doctor for anything? No. You're not seeing, taking your medication? Right. You're not diabetic or epileptic? Nothing at all. Okay. Uh, you have any physical impairments at all? Anything wrong with your body, man? Just my shoulder. Stand, stand fast by my the shoulders. Are but nothing's wrong with your legs? No, no. just I'm your good. shoulder. Okay. Just what happened to your shoulder? I think on impact, I might have something happened. I don't know. Or it could have been from basketball season. From basketball, okay. Hey, Stan. I smell some alcohol on you, man. Have you been drinking at all? Yeah. I had a couple beers earlier. How many is a couple? Uh, probably two or three. What kind of beers did you have? Um, I know there was also vodka as well, and there was, I think, Cool Light. So you had a couple beers yeah. and vodka now? Yeah. Okay, a few seconds ago, it was just, just beer. Now vodka and beer? Yeah. All right. What time did you start drinking, do you think? Approximately 30 to 40 minutes. Yeah, 30, 40 minutes ago. Okay, and you guys just finished when you guys left the trailhead? Yeah. All right. Well, you know what, man? Um, I notice you swing around, I smell the odor of alcohol, you're just involved in an accident. I'm going to have you do a couple of field sobriety tests for me, okay? Uh, I'm going to explain the test to you and give you a demonstration of them as well. Well, I'm giving you the demonstration and explanation. Uh, what I want from you is to keep your feet together for me and keep your hands to your sides. So what we're going to do here is going to keep your toes and heels all the way together. Keep your arms at your sides, do not move at all while I'm explaining the test to you, okay? Uh, none, of this, none of these tests are meant to trick you or anything like that. Uh, these are just uh, objective field sobriety tests uh, meant to help us determine your level, level of sobriety, okay? Uh, the first test I'm going to have you do here, basically, you're going to keep your head completely still. You're not going to move your head at all. You're only going to move your eyes in this test, okay? You're going to keep your eyes on the tip of my pen, the silver part, and just follow it as I move it in front of your face, all right? Now, John, what I want you to do here is don't move your head, okay? You have to keep your head still. And you have to follow the instructions as, as I give them to you, okay? So don't move your head, just your eyes only. And right now I'm taking a look at your eyes for lack of smooth pursuit. That field spread test was just to, to take a look at your eyes and analyze it to see if you're in the presence of nystagmus, which is a, uh, a indicator of possible uh, alcohol consumption, okay? Uh, the next test here is the uh, one leg stand. Just like it sounds, you're going to stand on one leg, all right? Uh, you're going to keep your feet together for me, your toes and, and, your, and your, uh, your heels. Keep your arms to your sides. All right, when I tell you to do so, you're going to lift one of your legs off the ground, your left leg or your right leg, whatever leg you want to. That's fine with me. This doesn't... Put your foot back down, John. you got to... Keep your feet together and at your sides and your hands to your sides until I say to start the test. You can't start the test too soon, okay? Uh, you have to follow directions, all right? But so uh, keep your arms to your sides. When I tell you to start, but not yet. When I tell you to start, you're gonna lift one of your legs off the ground in front of you. Keep your foot parallel to the ground. Keep your leg locked out and straight, and keep your arms to your sides while you're looking at your foot, just like I'm doing now. You're gonna count out loud and then come up to 1,000. It's like 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, and so on until you get to about 30. If you drop your foot by accident at all during the test, pick your foot back up and keep counting where you left off at. So if you drop your foot at 1,005, pick your foot back up and continue, continue counting 1,006, 1,007, and so on, okay? you have any questions at all? Makes sense, right? Mm -hmm. All right, go ahead and start. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, 1,005, 1,006. 
What number do I go to? 30. Two seconds, Trek. Two seconds, guys. Who forgot? 1010. 1011. 1012. 1,014. All right, John. 30 seconds is Pasco and drop your foot. You only got to 13 seconds. All right, the next step you're going to do here is called the finger to nose. Keep your feet together just like you are now. We're going to do this test. You're going to ball up your finger, your, your fist, and bring them down your sides. You're going to pull your index finger outwards and point your palms toward me and just stand like that until I say this up. Until I say this start to touch, okay? Uh, when I tell you to do so, you're going to tilt your chin upward. You're going to look up at the sky, and then you'll close your eyes, okay, John? After your eyes are closed, I'll give you a series of instructions. I'll say left or right. When I say left, you're going to bring your left hand up and touch the very tip of your uh, your finger, index finger, to the tip of your nose, okay? Once you touch your nose, bring your hand right back down to your side without me telling you to do so, okay? When I say right, you do the same with your right hand. Bring the right hand up to your, nose, your face, touch the very tip of your right index finger to the tip of your nose, and bring your hand back down your sides. All right? Does that make sense to you? I'll say left, you bring left hand up, right, right hand up. Any questions at all? All right. So you chin up, look up the sky, close your eyes, and left. Right. Left. Right. Right. And left. Okay. All right. Keep standing just like I, t I told you to. Okay. The last test here is uh, called the walk and turn. Uh, we're going to use this uh, crack in the line here as the straight line we're used to walk on. If you want to, just stand just like I am now. Put your uh, left foot behind your right foot with your heel to toe. You got it left behind you. Perfect, man. And I'll show you how to do the test here. When I instruct you to start, you're going to take a series of nine steps along that straight line here. Just step one, count out, two, three, four, five, all the way to your ninth step, okay, John? Once you get to your ninth step, your left foot should be your lead foot. You're going to stop and pivot around your left foot, keeping your left foot on the ground counterclockwise until you're facing the opposite direction. Then you're going to place your right foot back in front of your left foot and take another series of nine heel to toe steps. One, two, three, four, all the way to nine. You have to keep your uh, your feet on the white line, the, correct in the, the crack in the line here, the straight line, and just uh, try and maintain your balance, okay? Do you understand the test? Any questions at all? All right, go ahead and start the test. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. All right, John. All right, the last test we have here is the uh, PASS test. It's a preliminary alcohol screening device test. Right, just like in the movies, you're going to blow on the device for a few seconds until I tell you to stop. You, how old are you, John? 17. So you're not even 21 yet, right? So this uh, test is a requirement of you, okay? You cannot refuse this test. You're gonna blow in here until it's ready to stop. Should be about five or six seconds, okay? Go ahead and blow. Okay, John, one more time. John. Maybe turn around for a second here, man. The results of both tests show that your blood alcohol content level is at a 0.16. The legal limit for you is a 0.01. For anyone over 21, it's a 0.08.
You're twice the legal limit of someone who's over 21 years old. You're being placed in arrest for manslaughter and for felony DUI. Follow my officer here. We're going to walk you to the park.